if you like my videos, click like. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Just push that subscribe button. Thank you. Hi guys, it's Mama Edie. And I'm going to talk about something that's kind of nasty to do, but may need to be done. And that's your anal sac of your dog. Yeah. If your dog suddenly starts scooting along the carpet or wiping their butt, you may be in for a real treat. The dubious pleasure of your best friend's anal sack. Lots of licking or chewing of his rear or tail is another sign that it's time to get rid of the fluid buildup. Anal sacs and anal glands carry some smelly fluid and occasionally need to be expressed or emptied. Many dogs express them by themselves every time they poop. The sacs are around a dog's anus. But occasionally the sacs will fill with fluid and your dog needs some help to release the fluid. Ask your vet before attempting to express your dog's anal sac for the first time because the process can cause impacted anal glands and in really bizarre instances can rupture the sac. And keep in mind that expressing the anal sac too often can lead to impacted anal glands and falling, failing to care for them may lead to infection. If you're not 110% sure you want to take uh, on the task of expressing your dog's anal glands, don't hesitate to turn the nasty job over to a trained staff at your veterinary office. The cost is minimal, especially compared to the damage you could cause and the smell you're going to be exposed to. But if you insist on doing this, this is how you do it. You suit up in a rubber, a rubber boots, get a clothespin for your nose, heavy duty rubber bullet gloves, a welder's apron, and some tongs so that you look like Michael Keaton changing a diaper and Mr. Mom. All right, that's a joke. <laughs> you don't have to get quite that extreme, but you will probably need nose plugs if you are sensitive to smell because it's going to smell really bad. So what you do is you fold up uh, several paper towels together in a huge wad. You want an absorbent pad to catch the liquid. So make sure you have that. Lift your dog's tail and place the towel over his backside and wonder where in commercial television will pick up on this type of ad. <laughs> the position of the dog's anus is related to the paper towels. Use your thumb and forefinger. Thumb, forefinger and squeeze at 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. I guess that would be like that. Yeah, 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Using the anus as the clock face. Okay? Keep your face out of the way, folks. And you just squeeze that gently and it will release the stuff. <laughs> And then you dispose of the towels in a covered trash can basket. Wash and rest your dog's rear in really well. Wash your hands, of course. But I'll tell you what, the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, and probably a lot of people's opinion, is do it while you're giving them a bath or a shower. Or I give my dogs a shower. I use the shower. And you can just wash all that nasty stuff down the drain. Uh, it doesn't seem as strong when you're in the shower. I don't know why. I guess because it's watering it down. So you might want to try that too. So there's your information. Good luck. If you have a problem, take, send it to the vet. You know, don't try and cause the dog more problems. Okay? So I love you guys. I love my fur babies. And bye-bye. Bye-bye, <coughs> folks. I just wanted to add, please, if you're looking for a dog or even a puppy, go to your local shelters, your second chance places, and adopt. Don't go out and buy an expensive dog. So many dogs need homes now. And you know what? The mutts 
in my opinion, are the best dogs ever. So, you know, do your, your duty and adopt. Again, I love you guys. Be sure to subscribe. 